Welcome back to DBL. A former MMA fighter is facing capital murder in the disappearance and death of his ex-girlfriend and friend. Now, Cedric Marks, his story is unraveling an entire web of criminal history. Here is the latest on DBL's True Crime Chronicles. Cedric Marks was well known in the ring. He was a former MMA fighter known as Spider-Man and also a trainer in Texas. The 45-year-old had a lengthy criminal past dating back to 1992, but laid low until recently. It was spring 2018. Cedric met a woman online named Jenna Scott. She was 28 years old, pursuing her master's degree and taking care of her young daughter. The couple dated briefly before Jenna called it quits, citing fear and abuse in marks. In July, she filed a restraining order that read, twice, he choked me until I lost consciousness. Less than a month later, Cedric broke into Jenna's home and then fled. Fast forward to January 2019. Jenna and her friend, 32-year-old Michael Swearingen, were visiting friends in Temple, Texas, and never seen again. And I believe my sister's being held hostage somewhere. Time is of the essence. Four days after their disappearance, Cedric was arrested in Michigan for that August burglary charge at Jenna's home. He was in the process of being transferred to a Texas prison when he escaped from the car while the guard stopped at McDonald's to get food. You can see him on a surveillance camera walking by a building here. Cedric led police on a nine hour manhunt in Texas until he was eventually found hiding in a trash can. Despite what the media put out, I was not trying to escape. I was actually in fear and I was not going anywhere. Days later, Cedric's girlfriend at the time, Maya Maxwell, was arrested in Michigan for helping Cedric hide from police. Maya gave in and told investigators Cedric killed Michael and Jenna and buried their bodies. Police found their bodies buried in the small town of Clearview, Oklahoma, where Cedric had family ties to. The nightmare's still there. Michael and Jenna are not coming back. Cedric was charged with capital murder and is facing the death penalty. After that case came to light, Cedric also became a person of interest for the disappearance of April PC, the mother of one of his children. The two had a rocky relationship and were fighting for custody. April went missing in 2009 and hasn't been seen since. Earlier, Eric and I spoke with a reporter following this case. Take a look. And we are joined by reporter Jasmine Caldwell from KSEN TV in Central Texas. Thank you so much for being here. So it's been a year since Cedric led police on that manhunt and was charged with killing his ex-girlfriend Jenna and her friend Michael. What's new, Jasmine? Where does this case stand right now? Well, right now, Cedric Marks is still sitting in a Bell County jail on a $2 million bond awaiting trial. Now, because of COVID-19, some of those hearings have been delayed and slowed, slowed down. And because the, of the district attorney seeking the death penalty, those cases typically take a little longer here in the state of Texas. But I can tell you this. What's new is we learned that Cedric Marks' wife has agreed to testify against him after Cedric Marks allegedly killed Jenna Scott and Michael swearing Jen. Now, after he allegedly killed them, he fled to Michigan where his wife hid him and his new girlfriend from authority. So it's gonna be interesting to hear what she has to say. Wow. So there is a second person involved and charged in this case. Do we know what their motive was and what led up to this? Well, as far as the motive, that's something that we're still hoping plays out in trial. Maya Maxwell was another one of Cedric Mark's girlfriends. Now, she told police she was in the home when he allegedly killed Jenna and Michael. She also was the one who drove Michael Swearingen's car to Austin, Texas, which is about an hour or so where the crime took place. She also helped bury their bodies Yikes. in Oklahoma. Now, she has been charged with capital murder. Wow. And here's where it gets interesting, Jasmine. The disappearance and deaths of Jenna and Michael actually helped expose Cedric's criminal background. Can you give us some insight into that? Well, yeah, well, Cedric Marks was a former MMA fighter who went by the 
nickname of Spider-Man. Now, he also was a boxer here locally, and his criminal past goes way back to when he was a teenager. We learned that he spent six years in prison in the 90s in Oklahoma for assault and battery with a dangerous weapon, and he, five months after that release from prison, he was also arrested here in Texas for unlawfully carrying a weapon. But other than that, he's pretty much stayed out of the limelight until these crimes happened. Wow. Well, we appreciate you, Jasmine. To learn more about this story, just visit CaseNTV.com. You can also listen to a podcast episode about this case. Just search True Crime Chronicles on your favorite podcast player. Thank you, Jasmine. We'll be right back.